Welcome to St. Marie Among the Hurons, a national historic site at the heart of Canada's early modern story. In the upcoming episodes, we will look at key moments in the history of this fascinating Jesuit mission, where the Jesuit missionaries and Wendat people came together to discover Christ in the center of their lives, and in a sense, by doing so, look to the very foundations of the faith of our country. The foundations of how we understand the Jesuit mission here to Nouvelle France can find many of its original pieces here in the blacksmith shop that was an essential part of the Jesuit mission. The fire that stoked in this place, manned by a Jesuit brother and his lay collaborators, was at the very heart of the enlarging project as the vision for St. Marie's creation grew every year of its existence. The pieces that we find in this place represent a larger question that we must ask ourselves as to the presence of the Jesuits here, but even more so of those who came from France in the larger colonial project of the 17th century. It was no small feat with the will of King Louis XIV to proclaim that they would come to this new land, that they placed a flag and donned as Nouvelle France. The technological advancements required to come to this part of the world and the technology that needed to be brought here was extensive. Here in the blacksmith shop we see the use of iron, water, woods and the skill and ingenuity of the blacksmith coming to the table. And just imagine the amount of labor, energy and material that had to be brought from New France, first by ship in the 30-day voyage to arrive here amidst stormy seas, the threat of pirate incursion, and the threat of the weather alone. Then upon their arrival, the long portage that was required and the canoe rides to be able to bring the material to this area and bring to life the vision that the Jesuit fathers had for this site in the heart of the Wendat nation. The colonial project of the French was the engineering force behind the arrival of the French in this region. But traveling along that was the spirit of the missionary and the church in France that had a very clear objective of wanting to come into the heart of the First Nations people and to bring to them an encounter of Jesus Christ so that they might help to discover Christ in their own reality. Here in this blacksmith shop, the Jesuits not only worked the fire and stoked the flame, but also used this place as an opportunity to practice their evangelization with the various Wendat people who would come as Christians or Christians-to-be, fascinated with the ability that the French seemed to have to manipulate the elements that they knew well, water, fire, earth and air, to bring together a new creation. This reflection on creation was an opportunity for the Jesuit missionary to talk about creation itself and where it came from, and also to discuss how the sacred earth was a part of both cultures together, and through that exchange begin a discussion about the Creator and how the Creator was involved in sustaining this great creation that they maintained. 